Hello everybody and welcome back to Bad Advice Capital Plus which I said in the previous episode we got yet another easy Eden run. So we're going for win number 10 today. Let's hope it can give us something extra spicy. Uh we're starting off with the milky thing. Okay. Stats are okay. Health is great. In fact, it's so great I'm gonna do this. Um and yeah, I can't remember what this milk does. Let's let's go and find out, shall we? Let's go and find out. I cannot remember what this is a part of, so give me a minute. I think it's Ipecac, but I can't remember exactly. Let's uh let's do a little research and make sure we know what we're know what we're working with here. Um it's it's always very difficult to remember exactly what's from what mod. It can get mixed up very, very easily. So I'm not seeing it from Ipecac. So let's try Isaac Deliverance. See if it's from Deliverance, maybe. Okay, takes a little bit of time to do this, but like I said, it's worth putting the time at the start of the run so we know what we're working with. It is hot milk. Makes tears damage up. Uh, make tier damage ups vary a bit, plus uh, 0.45 damage. So basically, our tears vary from slightly higher to slightly lower than our actual damage. That's why we're seeing varying size. And then, of course, we have Flatworm here as well. Honestly, that should be pretty good. I reckon that's going to be pretty useful. Um, for the most part, it should be an average damage up. Uh, it means we've started with good damage. More health there is great. I took the cigarette straight away because it gives us a black heart and some damage. It does take away a heart container, but considering we had um, black hearts, we would be receiving another one. And on top of that, we... Um, we had three red hearts. It seemed like a no-brainer to me. So let's carry on. Let's see what we can get going for this run. Uh, but yet again, a good start. This is all you can ask for on Eden Streaks. A good start is all you can ask for. And Maggie's Bow, honestly, fantastic item to get early on. Fantastic item to get early on. Really, just it just helps us push further um, and make sure we're staying healthy. Make sure we're... Uh, Keeping our red health as high as it possibly can be. It means we've got plenty of good trading material, which is always, always good. I didn't actually check our curses here, so let me check that. It is a labyrinth, so we are going to be getting a deal with the devil this floor. So having three red hearts does give us the possibility of taking two deals if one's a two heart and one's a one heart. So that's always great. Okay, let's not get hit in this room. There you go. Ooh, we got the uh, the charred dice. Upon death, 50% chance of reviving and reroll. Uh, honestly, yeah. That sounds great. It's a revive. Uh, so it's a chance at a revive. It's not a great revive because it could reroll us into just terrible items. But 50% chance to revive in a trinket is pretty damn strong. That's essentially Guppy's collar in a trinket. Like, that's pretty good. I mean, single use, I know, but still. 50% chance to revive is still 50% chance to revive. I am not going to tear my nose about it. And also, Flatworm basically does nothing. It's just visual. I, I can't think of many scenarios in which having Flatworm will help us. Okay, please hit this guy a little harder. There you go. Okay, I did get hit there. That was just me being a little dumb. I was committing too hard to the kill. Uh, but we've got to remember, we have a second item room coming up this floor. And I've just had a hair fall onto my nose and distract the shit out of me and almost get me hit. But here we should be absolutely fine. I'm I'm pretty confident that we that we've got a good run going in this first XL floor. We should be able to make some good plays and make some stuff happen. I'm just really hoping that the deal with the devil is an absolute garbage. I mean, I will skip it if it is. Uh, but we've got so much health to play with, and it's just one of those things where if you have an enabler and you have the ability to take a one or two heart deal on the first floor and it's something that's, that's going to be run changing, you really want to take it. You really do want to take it. You want to want to give yourself every opportunity to succeed. And we are... That's what we're about on this Eden streak. We're going for our 10th win in a row. It, it, is, it is certainly, certainly more of a possibility than I was expecting it to be. I'm very happy about that. About that. Let's check our next item room, see what we get. Honestly. Honestly, this game, this game, it's just like, hey, Turtle, I heard you're on an Eden streak. Would you like a free win? <laughs> so I guess it's um, it's it's going to be a bit more of a casual commentary day again today because we, uh, we've we won. 
pretty much. As long as I don't absolutely balk this up, we've won. Uh, we are on a roll once again. We are set off to go. We are good. We didn't find any Tinted Rocks this floor, which is surprising. I was hoping we'd find one or two just to up our health a little bit more. But now that we've got Satanic Bible, that's not even a slightest worry. We, uh, I, I've, I've never had Satanic Bible from an item room that I can remember, but... Probably one of the best things you can get from an item room, if I'm uh, if I'm thinking about it. Like, as, as you guys know, as I've mentioned previously, Satanic Bible is one of the most powerful items in the entire game. It is enabled by a bunch of different things. Also, box of stuff here is fantastic. Um, it gives us a bit of everything that we need. And IOU, I just take learn on shop and devil deals. Can't be dropped while in debt. I don't think we need that. We'll take an Empress here just because I want to kill Ragman extra quick because he's a very annoying boss that can easily hit us and sometimes take a really long time. But yeah, I'm kind of wondering how this varying damage will work as our um, as our damage goes up. I'm wondering what the range of that is. Also, Roid Rage, very, very good. And gives a huge damage bonus after killing enemy, which quickly dissipates, gives you a small damage bonus for each monster you kill. Very good. Okay, we are absolutely in the money here this is a fantastic start and it's it's definitely it's definitely weighing on my mind that these runs are so fantastic that a divine presence is watching my videos and giving me extra luck but also that i am about to get shat on hard when rep comes out like you cannot get this lucky for this long okay please don't tell off me it's just not fair Oh, for God's sake, stop with the telefragging. These enemies, in my opinion as well, also have a bit too much health. Like, they take... I know they're, I know they're meant to be kind of fat and and, and big, but they, they do... They do chonk. They, they, they do take a long time to kill. Okay, let's uh, let's be cautious about this. This this room's kind of difficult. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm having a feeling that when Rep comes out, we are truly going to get shat on. <laughs> I think the game's going to punish me in ways that I can't even imagine. Also, that is the worst stone chest I've ever seen. Another, This is another enemy that I, I really dislike coming across because they have very, very short windows of attack opportunity. Eventually, they do just tire themselves out and kill themselves. But they also do this shit where they just jump constantly and never fucking stop. It's real annoying. And they don't seem to have any rhyme or reason to when they decide to give up. And he just keeps doing it and doing it. It's like Skolex the enemy. And someone actually made a Skolex enemy and it's better than this thing. Oh my god, stop. Please. Fucking let me leave this room, you big blue shithead. Oh. This enemy is fucking tiresome. <laughs> god damn it. That's got to be my my biggest... I know that I'm not an actual... Oh, for fuck's sake. I know that I'm not an actual designer of rooms and stuff uh, and, and enemies myself. But if I was to ever give anyone a red flag in terms of... Um, in terms of... Ooh, that's a little nice. Uh, this is pretty good. Uh, if I was to ever give anyone like a red flag when making rooms, I would always say... The first thing I would say to them is... do uh, Sorry, enemies. Do not make an enemy that requires the player to wait to kill them it's fine if it's a short wait and it's a it, there's a guaranteed method of stopping the wait but when it's like just an arbitrary amount of time and you just have to keep waiting that's fucking boring <laughs> the, it makes the it makes the enemies really dull to fight especially especially if they're the only enemy in the room enemies that make you wait while you have to fight other enemies are fine like hearsts a lot of the time with the hearsts like the mushrooms and stuff you kind of just fight other stuff oh god our axe little died he'll be spitting out flies for us now though but yeah you, you kind of just fight other stuff while while it's all going on but them dudes when they're in the room on their own that's just like that's all you're doing and it's just like oh my god do i have to wait much longer are we there yet Um, blank book. Sadly, not very good, but we do have, we are now one book off of Bookworm, which is not a bad thing. Bookworm is a significant damage up for essentially free. And you get it quite often, so let's hope for that. Um, 67% chance of a deal with the devil here. We do have Gerdy. There's no point, uh, sorry, no way that we're losing a deal with the devil, but we are most likely going to get hit. This boss is... Very frustrating. That's why, as you just saw there, sometimes she gets incredibly close to you and it's very, very hard to predict. 
Also, sometimes she'll be like halfway through a bounce and just change direction. But there you go, we got her. Um, and we get Barris up, heart container. That's good. Um, and <sighs> Cloak of Darkness is one of those ones where I like it, but I hate the fact that it um, it gives us these curses. I think I'm just going to take the little devil and carry on my way. Like, double damage is fucking great. We'd be up to 10 damage this early on. But for the visuals of both you guys and me, I'd rather not. The little devil's going to be pretty nice, though, here. I knew I was going to take damage there. I didn't really mind. Okay. Take you out. Of course, we got the Curse of the Fiegel here, so we've got to remember that. It's not a big deal. It shouldn't influence, uh, influence us too much at all. But it's just something to keep in mind. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. Obviously, we're kind of... In terms of items we're hoping for, right now we're hoping for a lot of money and then a car battery. That would all but guarantee the win. That like the, the win's already mostly guaranteed. That would double double guarantee it. Uh, so we're kind of hoping for that. That would be really nice. Uh, what other things can we hope for? Any any tier effects would be really nice. Uh, damage up isn't a huge concern right now because we have this. Um, this big skull, the, the, the black skull that we got on the first floor, which I don't actually know the name of, Pergatory, whatever it was called. Um, no thank you. Which is giving us this um, ability to gain damage up after killing things. Um, it says as well that we get a small damage up per enemy we kill as well. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that works. I'm guessing it's just for the floor, or maybe it's just for a certain amount of time. I don't actually know. This is a hard room. Oh my god, we actually survived there, what the hell? We didn't get hit. I'm very surprised. But yeah, now we're up to seven damage. Like, if this is a constant thing that we keep the, the full game, it's amazing. I don't think it is, though. I think it's floor specific. It, it would have to be, right? Mushroom boy, hello. But yeah, as you can see, we're absolutely stomping through the game right now. Having a great time. Quickly go and take this on and we'll go get that battery in a moment. Oh, shit. I kind of knew that was going to happen, but okay. I'm, I'm fine with it. There's another battery. I love this. When you, we're getting hit in rooms and still gaining HP. This is why it's so powerful. It's like, if you're, an, if you're a half-decent player, you always gain HP in the early game on Satanic Bible. And you can quite often do what I've just done there and get to full HP in no time at all. Uh, so that's good. We're, we're, we're on our way with that. Um... Do you know what? We've got eight keys. We could get a guppy item. Why not try this out? We got two pills. Of course, I'm doing streaks here, so I will not be taking pills. But apparently, in rep, pills are getting a, a, a big a big sort of improvement. Or I don't know if they're getting a rework as such, but apparently there's going to be much more of a reason to use them, which is nice. Also, I don't think I've mentioned... No, I, d I definitely have mentioned this before, but it's quite a while ago. Um, there was a blog post recently, um, like literally like th this this just gone Friday, about um, the true co-op being brought into uh, Repentance, which is great. We were all expecting it, but it's been fully confirmed. Um, oh my god, yes. Uh, it's been fully confirmed. Uh, but yeah, uh, one great thing about that, that that I can now actually confirm is that I'm probably going to do some sort of co-op series with my girlfriend and maybe with subscribers at some point, which is going to be really fun. Um, I kind of talked about that previously, but uh, I can now kind of go into a bit more detail about it. Um, because yeah, me, me and my girlfriend, we, we what we used to do is, uh, because I, I think I've told people before, I've mentioned it here before, that we um, we went to different universities in different cities, so we were we were apart for about three years. I'm um, not not majorly apart, like it was it was only like a two or three hour drive, so it wasn't a big deal. But we, we were only seeing each other like once a month rather than like super regularly, like we were previously. Um, and yeah, uh, because of that, one of the things that we like to do is we used to play Isaac together by playing this. This was before the True Corp mod. Um, we used to play the same seed and just basically like go on call while we played the same seed and talk to each other about it. Um, and uh, yeah, Ooh, let's have a look. See, yeah, we'll take effigy. Effigy's pretty good. Uh, yeah, and it was it was pretty fun. Uh, we always enjoyed doing that. And then when Anti Birth came out and had True Corp in it. We, we played a lot of anti bear together co-op, um, and then obviously True Corp itself came out. So yeah, there, there was a, there's a lot of times that we've... Um, okay, we're getting lucky here. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of times that we played a lot of Isaac together, so 
Repentance having some true co-op in it is fantastic for me. I'm really excited to uh, to mess around with that. My god, we haven't fought a single enemy this floor yet, and we've been to this many rooms. It's kind of crazy. This is kind of crazy. Uh, that's kind of worth it, but not quite. Also, something that I didn't mention when we picked up Cricket's Head. Because Cricket's Head is a damage multiplier, now every damage up we get from Purgatory, which does seem to be counting forever, which is insane, um, it, it's, it's giving us more damage. Before it was giving us 0.32, and now it's giving us 0.56. Which is insane. But yeah, as you can see, it's it's upping our damage a lot. Our damage output is very high now. Okay. Um, Mum's bra, of course, not worthwhile to us at all. If we can re-roll it, we will. I'll take a battery. I might as well just black out this. Uh, I do want to quickly pop to our shop because we just got Steam Sale, uh, which means that car battery is more of a more of a realistic goal than it was previously. It's like, like we just haven't had a lot of money this run. A lot less money than normal, actually. Uh, but now we don't need as much money, so we can go in there with uh, 10 coins and easily get an item. And because of how lucky we are, we're guaranteed that car battery will be the first item for sale. I am the predictor, and I say it is so. And so it will be. You just watch. You just watch. The shop will contain car battery. And we will buy it for 7 cents. I could go one further and say it'll be a half-price steam sales car battery. If I can guarantee that, then I am an absolute wizard. This is Butterbean, not Wait What, so that doesn't really matter. Um, let's keep going. But yeah, we we've got to the we've got to the point of no return with this Pegatory. It's probably one of the best items you can get from mod packs early on from Deal the Devils because our damage just keeps scaling up. And I'm so surprised to find out it isn't floor based. We just keep the damage, which is absurd. Um, we're just our damage is just scaling up and up and up. So it's like 11.13 now. And then after this room, it's going to be... Let's check. Um... Oh, no, it's still 11.13. Okay, I don't exactly know how it's working, then. I don't exactly know how it's working. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. I got hit by that guy, but I literally don't care. And that guy as well, but again, I literally don't care. Oh, okay. So now we're down to now we're down to 7.79 because we got hit. So it builds up, and if you get hit, it then goes away. That's good to know. Oh, is this another XL fly? I didn't even realize. I mean, I should have done considering how fucking big it is. Okay, take care of you. Good, good. Piercing is fantastic for us. Okay, this is this is kind of absurd how good this run is. This is a bit criminal. I feel I feel a bit I feel a bit naughty. But yeah, so it seems we we, we get a scaling damage up up to fifty percent increase around. Um but it goes away if we take if we take damage. But yeah, now with us uh having piercing, this is just even better. We're looking for small rock out of that tinted rock we saw in that previous room. Do not worry, I did see it. Boom. Sadly not, but we got soul hearts available for later. Still haven't found our item room yet, which is uh, not item room, sorry, shop, which is kind of crazy. This enemy's interesting. I've not seen this one before. I don't think, at least. Golden bombs. Uh, not super useful, but we'll take it. Don't know why that one hermed. There was a tear that hermed in then. Oh, these are the repeating ghosts, aren't they? That's okay. You can deal with them. But yeah, we're all full on black arts at the minute, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, there you go. You're dead. And shot. Damn it. I was incorrect. I will still take the compass, though. Why not? And what's down here? What is down here? We should we should check all of this. There's a lot of possibilities for extra rooms we could get here. Why why not take the time? Oh, that guy was very close to spawning on me then, and I almost walked into the creep too. Yeah, there's a lot of extra rooms here, and I'm kind of wondering why. There's got to be some room over here that it's summoned that I've not thought about. Grab that real quick. What are you hiding from me, game? What are you hiding from me? Okay. 
keep going. My little axolotl's died. Oh well, you will be missed, Jimmy. Abyss card, no thank you. Doesn't seem like it's hiding anything. But hey, huh. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. I'm glad I went to this room, though, because we just got a bit of extra money for our next shop, our next venture. And that's what I want to see. We're up to 8.3 damage now. 8.46. And we'll head back to our double boss room. Why the hell not? But yeah, that was a quite a big exploration. Cares of the Labyrinths are kind of annoying because you do lose out on a shop. But hey, her. That's the way the cookie crumbles. We do have this large and charge boy. He shouldn't be too bad. I reckon he will hit us once or twice. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Ooh, Synthoil. Okay, so this is Mum. I wasn't actually expecting it to be Mum, but it is. This is um, Spawner Mum as well, so a little more annoying than normal. We've got a Soul Heart in the fight, so we don't really need to worry about being hit. She's still going to foot us when she can. Grab that now. Got her. Uh, we'll take ourselves the Polaroid and we'll check this, but it'd have to be something real good. Um, Mad Onion is pretty good. Mad Onion's pretty good. Because we don't have any special effects, really. But do you know what? It's a waste of time. Really, it is. Like, it's good, but we don't need it. If we felt like we needed it, I'd take it. Or if it was something that was really visually interesting, really a really cool item, then yeah, I'd take it. But it's not, admittedly. It is just an item that's going to increase our already high damage. Uh, I don't think we have to take it. So we did not get our uh, car battery this time. The game thought, sorry, Turtle. We've given you enough luck and enough power. Just be happy with what you have. And I'm going to say okay to that. I'm, I'm going to... I'm gonna, Agree with the game and say, yeah, you've, you've, you've done a lot for me. I will accept two of these chests. You're not taking my satanic Bible, mister. You're not. You can think again. So we got Mama Mega. Got lucky there. Mama Mega's a weird boss. Mama Mega's a really weird boss. She kind of, her only thing is that spike thing she does. And if you have flight, it's completely negated. Everything else she does is kind of easy to avoid. Uh, I'm not going to take old bandage. No, no, no. no. Mm, I will. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Kind of regret taking it. I was debating just in case we got a, um, a two-heart deal and a one-heart deal. Then we'd be able to take both. Lump of coal, though. Rather nice. But yeah, as I said, this is just one of those runs where we can just absolutely kick the game in the booty hole. And the game can't do nothing about it. Can't do a single thing. Oh, that was stupid. But, don't worry. Satanic Bible's here to help. And try and go this way? Nope. I'm going to say that. I thought that way might be towards the boss. It was not. Hmm, okay. Um... These guys are ones you actually have to kill. Okay. I'm not sure which way we go to the boss now. I'm kind of confused. Maybe this will loop upwards. Seems like it is. It's nice to know the bosses in situations like this. Boom. Oh, we got the effigy again. I, I, I kind of forgot about that item. We hadn't had one in so long. But it came back. Yeah, we did go the right way. Good. Ooh. Ooh. Spicy room. Spicy room. But, oh my god, piercing. It's just piercing so strong. Piercing is so fucking strong. It just makes so many enemies your bitch. And anything that spawns things, just completely worthless. Hey, Hursty, my boy. Hursty, Hurst face. Oh, that was close. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, honestly, but I didn't, so I'm not going to complain. Okay, we're good to go. We don't have anything to kill, so our damage doesn't get mass... Get ah! 
That's what's doing it. I was wondering how we were surviving different hits, but the fires actually destroy shots, which makes this little familiar way better than I assumed. Like, way, way better. But up we go. 21 minutes to the cathedral. My god. Curse of Vanishing, gotta remember that. Doesn't matter on this floor, to be honest. Curse of Vanishing is only really a problem when you have, um... When you're early game, you don't have the consumables you want. And you're still trying to gather resources. Okay, so it's not this way. It's just a little upsetting that we didn't really get to um, fully take advantage. This is a fucking awful room. <laughs> yep. I th This enemy can actually go and suck a fart. <laughs> I do not want the Eternal Heart. Okay. Oh, my God. These guys aren't too bad. They're, just, they're very weak HP-wise, so we don't have to worry about them too much. They can just be kind of frustrating because they just keep reappearing. I will try and bomb these and just see if we get anything cool. Nope. Effigy room again. God damn, the music's so creepy with the effigy rooms. Having two of these is actually kind of a big problem. I mean, it's nice that you opened a secret room for us, but if the... Both spawn bombs at the same time. They can completely fill the room. Is that Buckworm? Should be. Yes. Buckworm is going to be a decent little bit of damage up there. Nice. Ooh, we might as well void chest these. And sadly, I did manage to pick up a lot of the money before it all got voided, but still. And there we go. We get ourselves Dim Bulb, which is unfortunately not very useful for us. Spurders and... Pills. Spoders and pills. Spoders and pills. All you need is spoders and pills. Back up to full health again. We've basically been at full health this entire run. Like, realistically. So, essentially, with this dude, if we can if we can manage to face the music and stand completely still, our fire buddy will save us. For the most part. As long as he can sit... If you can perch a fire right on top of the enemy that we're shooting at, the boss we're shooting at, he will delete most of their shots. It's kind of impressive. It in actually is incredibly impressive. It's it's very, very useful. Axolotl being dead as well also is actually kind of more useful because it's going to spawn a bunch of flies for us. He's doing the same light path every single time so far, which is good for me. Less to think about. He's changed it up though. And there you go. Easy floor. We've got 13 keys going into this, so we're able to open all our chests and see what items we get. And I'm sure they'll be absolutely fantastical. Let's have a look-see. Uh, pet rock fly slowly moves towards enemies blocking shots. Yep, blocking shots sounds great to me. Taurus, do not want. Spam, do not want. Butt bombs. I'm okay with butt bombs. Okay, this is pretty good. Uh, spam is one of those ones that we might get some other items, so I'd rather not. I want to know, can the... Um can the effigy rooms replace rooms that have bosses? Or can they only replace normal enemies? And if they do... Ah, oh, Dominic. If they do manage to replace enemies in a room that's got bosses, does it just replace the enemies? Or does it just not do it on rooms that have bosses in? Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Also, give us two soul hearts. Yes. Back up to full health again. Damn. It's always a sad, sad day in... um in the chest when you go the wrong way. <laughs> Especially when it looks like you, you when, you've got, when you've got mapping or the compass or whatever and it looks like you're going the right way. That's the worst part. Good, good. Let's hop in here. Some booster packs. Pretty good, actually, to get these. Um, let's see. So we got teleport to the care to sacrifice room. Holy awe. Two of spades. I guess we take two of spades. Why not? Tower. Abyss. Hierophant is really good. Um, consumes all the cards and drops itself. Will trigger the effect of all the cards consumed if used in a room without any cards. Oh, damn. Um, so, unfortunately, we can't use that because it'll trigger the immolation. But that'd be pretty fun. Uh, we're going to leave it at this. We're just going to take the Hierophant and be on our way. Yeah, sadly, because we can't re-enter that room ever again, we can't, we can't move that card out, and we do not want it to trigger a teleport card. The Abyss, unfortunately, is rarely useful because of that, but... Still. 
Right. Guess we go this way? Yes. Yes, effigy room. Yeah, it's hard to know because obviously you can't see if it was a boss when the effigy spawns. The effigy is just the effigy. It doesn't change based on whether it was a boss or a normal enemy. So it's hard to know if that room did have bosses in it and if it replaced them. I'd assume with it only being two enemies that it probably was bosses though. You don't find many rooms in the chest that have two enemies that aren't bosses. That's a, li that's a little too few. This room's a bit bomby. God damn it. It's, it's, I, 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 I do love the scaling of Isaac. Where, like, early game, this is a... Like, a room with Wrath in it is, like, not hard, but it's not easy either. And then it's like, here's nine of them. <laughs> Eventually, it's just like, throw them all against the wall. See what sticks. Also, they did open a secret room for us here. Uh, lighter, unfortunately, just not very useful. Got to remember, we got this Hierophant card. I'm kind of just hoping to keep that for the boss of the... And then it's like, yeah, normally one monster, actual boss fight. Late game, it's like, here's four of them. It's great. It's, the scaling's so interesting in this game. That sort of thing. It just turns bosses into regular enemies. And the game works in such a good way that that actually genuinely is okay and balanced. This room, however... It's harder than anything I've ever seen in my life. No, it's not. But this guy is a pain in the ass. Even just one of them. He's going to do his jumpies before we get to kill him. Yep. He always likes his jumpies. He did manage to get us there, so we will pop our Hierophant card. Let's get on in there. Again, we just need our little dude to, um, to light the fires, stoke the embers. Keep him, keep him going. Keep the fires perched right in front of him. Old bandage there giving us a red heart. Not that we'll need it, but thank you. Also, the rock being quite nice too, blocking projectiles. Ow, that shouldn't have hit me. That should not have hit me, boy. But there you go. Yet another win on the list. Win 10, and we are feeling good. I hope you guys have been enjoying this Eden streak. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.